When booting the computer, you may encounter the error of the boot selection failed. Because a required device is inaccessible error code 0xc000000f and today in this video I am going to show you how to solve this operating system booting error. The boot selection failed because a required device is inaccessible after clone may be caused by the misconfigured BIOS settings. So, in order to solve this boot error, try to check the boot order in BIOS. How to accessing BIOS settings while the computer is booting, repeatedly hit the key F2. But some PC use Dell or F8 key and hit the right button enough times in the computer. We'll load your BIOS settings. On the BIOS screen, press the right arrow key until the save abd exit option is highlighted. Press the down arrow key until restore defaults or load optimal defaults is highlighted. Whichever is listed, and then press the enter key. Press the enter key on yes to load optimize defaults or load optimal defaults, whichever is listed. Then press the F10 key and save your BIOS settings. After saving the BIOS settings your system will restart. And you will see if your system BIOS setting default your system will start without any problem. If same problem show then go to next solution. First go to BIOS settings. After entering BIOS settings you need to press previous values key to fix the problem for. That the left side screen will be written previous values F2 key. Again you simply press F2 on the keyboard, what will happen if you press F2 key your BIOS settings will return to their previous values. Then press the F10 key and save your BIOS settings. After saving the BIOS settings your system will restart. And you will see if your system BIOS setting default your system will start without any problem. If same problem show then go to next solution. First go to BIOS settings. After entering BIOS menu go to Quick Controller Boot Options Bar. Go to CSM Configuration after Quick Controller Boot Options Bar and CSM Configuration. Is showing some options under it, if not configured then this problem is showing, so I will fix it, and configure it you must follow. Select the UEFI and Legacy option with Boot Option Filter, or select the UEFI only option. Leave all other UEFI only selected, and select the Launch Video Oprom Policy option. Legacy first. If the UEFI option does not solve the problem, you can come back to the boot menu and select the legacy option and see if the problem is fixed. You can select one of the two options either UEFI option or legacy option. Then press the F10 key and save your BIOS settings. After saving the BIOS settings your system will restart. Then you can save the BIOS setting and see if your problem is fixed without any problem. You can see for yourself that, after changing the settings my system started as before. After that same problem shows then go to next solution after doing these settings it will. Solve 100%. First go to BIOS settings. Press F2 or Dell button to go to BIOS settings. After entering BIOS settings go to boot bar options then go to boot option priorities. Then go to boot option 1 and select boot option 1 windows boot manager, your SSD or hard disk, and of course first boot your hard disk or SSD should be selected. This problem shows when first boot hard disk is not selected, then after selecting the first boot option on hard disk, and save the BIOS setting by pressing the F10 key. As soon as the BIOS settings are saved your computer will restart, and your computer will start without any problem. After that if same problem check hard disk SATA cable or check hard disk if possible, try Installing a new SATA cable of the hard disk. If the computer is still a same problem, be sure to visit a computer expert or a nearby computer repair shop. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.